evening and welcome to D Street. Uh, the first day of the last week of the year 2009. It's been an interesting uh, first day. We have seen volatility reign supreme on the Lal Street. The market's looking a little uh, jittery, but again, the broader theme is up, and the, of course, the market participants are a lot bullish. Indeed, Ashu. In fact, last few days now, so it's holiday shortened week. Remember, you've only got two more trading days this week. But of course, we'll take you through what really happened on the Lal Street. Like Ashu pointed out, volatility is back with the bang, and so is uh, volumes continue to remain very lackluster. So, a quick check of how the Nifty and the Sensex actually performed and managed to close in today's trading session. Take a look at how the markets did. In fact, the Sensex and the Nifty both closing marginally higher. Then again, the Sensex around that 17,400 mark. So. Holding on to 17,400 is what you saw. The Sensex finally closing the day at quarter percent higher after a very volatile trading session. The Nifty also closing in at 51.87 is what you saw. It did touch and make that fresh new 52-week uh, high in intra-trade, but managing to close below that at 51.87, up about nine points. So that's how the Sensex and the Nifty have panned out. It was a very volatile trading session, but then again, it's not just our markets. Remember, globally as well, that's pretty much the trend over the last couple of weeks and what you're also seeing is that participation has been extremely muted in this holiday charge shortened week that's how the broader markets panned out once again it was a day when the small cap index continued to outperform the broader markets in fact that's pretty much been the trend all through this month and it continues to remain like that as we get in the last few days it is f and expiry as well remember that's the key concern key reason that you're seeing a very volatile session panning out for the markets you also have the mid cap space ending about quarter percent high it's nothing really happening on that space. It was really the small cap index that led to those marginal gains sticking in for the Nifty and the Sensex. Uh, sectorally speaking as well, it's all in front of you there. You've got most sectors that ended flattish. Metal index closing in 1% higher. That pretty much caught up in the latter half of trade this afternoon. You had consumer durables also closing about 1% higher. BSC Power has been having a good run over the last few days. That also continuing to close in positive territory. On the downside, of course, it was sectors such as realty, healthcare and and IT, which sold off. In fact, healthcare ending nearly a percent and a half lower. Realty also, after being in positive territory in the first half of trade, actually sold off and ended in the red. Let's now take a look at what the highlights of today's trading session were. Like Ashu highlighted, it was the first day of the last week of trade uh, this year. The Nifty hit a fresh new 52 week high at 52.14, uh, and the stocks wore up for the fourth straight session. Remember, this is the first time that the markets hit that level since May 2008. Eight. It has been the longest winning streak for the markets in about seven weeks. Small caps continued to outperform the large caps and that's also been the trend over the last month or so. Healthcare and IT stocks not having a good day, so defensives coming under tremendous pressure. Healthcare closing in nearly a percent and a half lower. IT also not managing to hold up. On the upside, metals caught up and they closed positive, keeping in line with rising commodity prices, while the power sector also managed to close in positive territory today. So, well, that's how the markets actually pan out. It wasn't a bad day, like we said, Ashu, but metals clearly playing catch up, Ashu, in the last half of trade. Chuba.com.